Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Pemetry YouTube channel. Like always, I'm your host, Amy, and uh, it's been a very beautiful summer day. And a few things are going on throughout my personal fountain pen collection. And I said, this is a very, very good reason why to do a video and to share some of these things that are uh, lately turning up into my possession. Let's go. I couldn't be more happy with the weather because it is a very, very nice day and I had a very, very good feeling, some spare time and uh, there is a few things that recently showed up into my uh, personal fun fun collection and I said this is going to be an awesome reason why to do a video and to share some of uh, these things with you all. Because if I remember correctly, we haven't had an update since my updated 2022 bucket list uh, of fountain pens video and uh, I think there isn't any big or major changes in regards of that list in this moment because I haven't went forward and picked up another grail fountain pen from that list but just like with any single fountain pen which is exclusive to pen venture and uh, which I design, I try to keep one of these examples in my company museum to say so. Maybe one day we will do a display with all of these fountain pens and with my, um, let's say, legacy and what I've tried to create and share with you all. So I know that some of you watched my other video in which I reviewed the Momento Zero Grande exclusive Storm. And stay with me because I'm gonna show you this fountain pen. I'm gonna tell you a few things regarding it. And also I'm gonna show you a pen which I don't think you are expecting me to have in my personal fountain collection because it's at the opposite spectrum in regards of what I usually collect. So stay with me and let's see which is that fountain pen. But first of all, I'm gonna show you the storm and this is the exclusive beauty that we did with leonardo Vicina italiana the, this beauty was reviewed on the channel so i'm going to link a video up here if you want to check this fountain pen in more details simply said it is an exclusive edition numbering only 10 fountain pens and this is the continuation of my usual and when i say usually it's been only one edition prior to this which i believe was launched in december 2020 so two years ago and that fountain pen was called the momento zero grande thunder celluloid again a very very beautiful example of a rare celluloid at that point i didn't knew that this was used also by another fountain pen company chrome i believe it's a pretty rare and beautiful fountain pen in this purple um sample celluloid and uh, let's put them side by side so this was launched in december 2020 it has this beautiful beautiful cap band uh, configuration with a smaller cap band two smaller rings and this larger ring right here which is taken off two speed model and make the fountain pen like two or three millimeters longer than your usual Momento Zero Grande. We aimed for something as much as interesting as the Thunder with the Storm. So we used something that can tell the story just as beautiful as this Thunder celluloid. This black uh, celluloid with uh, veins that are purple, pinkish purple. And the black has this incredible gray pearl. Uh, in it and it is chateauant and I believe we nailed it. Only 10 fountain pens made just like Thunder. Uh, this is the prototype so it's not engraved but in a few days I'm gonna fly to Italy to pick all 10 of them and uh, I'm gonna engrave them just like the Thunder with Leonardo of China Italiana right here. I'm gonna put the limited edition number one of 10. Basically only nine are sold because one remains with me. I'm trying to see if I'm going to fit someplace up here 
uh, near the limited edition number, maybe a small representation of our logo with the P and all of that. We will see how it goes and how it fits. An impressive writing instrument, which is nearly sold out. Maybe a few of them are left. It has this incredible size eight rose gold plated nib from Leonardo, 14 karat ebonite feeder. And this monster looks good and not only that, it rides like a dream. You've seen this in my um, review video, or let's say overview. If you missed on it, I'm gonna leave it in the link down below. You can check it out and see it yourself, the writing sample with everything. I love this fountain pen. It is incredible. And to the best of my knowledge, this is the first time that I'm seeing someone getting its hands on this experimental celluloids from Leonardo outside of the factory. So it is a very, very strong relationship in between ourselves and Leonardo Ficina Italiana and this privilege is something that we are grateful and thankful for and we are sharing this with you all. All together, a very cool fountain pen, which I'm happy to report that's now part of my personal uh, fountain pen collection. So we are going to update the list down below with this fountain pen and uh, Till now, I have three Momento Zero Grandes, all in celluloids. We have Thunder, we have Storm, and we have Wild Cracked Ice Celluloid. I just love this fountain pens and I'm using them. And uh, all three are equipped with the size eight gold nib, so you know, which is my favorite by now. And now uh, that we got this out of the way, we updated the list down below with this fountain pen and I think we are approaching three digit. It's not a goal, but this year, I'm sure we are gonna grow to that number at one point. And uh, I'm happy for this. And I'm happy because I have writing instruments that I cannot wait to share with everyone. But now let's get to that fountain pen, which I don't think you're going to guess which one it is because it is completely, completely at a different um, opposite state of what I usually collect. And it is a cheap fountain pen compared to what I have at this moment. And it's practical, it's nice, it's interesting. Have you guessed? I'm gonna spare you this and I'm gonna show you. This is my new retro fountain pen Apollo. I don't think you're expecting this, but hear me out. I usually don't have bold points in my collection unless we are talking about Retro 51, which I have a few of them, Tornado. This is also Apollo. And I do have a very, very old Momento Zero. And I think this is green marbled uh, resin. And this is what I usually use if I want to let's say, write the address on a paper envelope and I don't want to risk having it soaking in water and losing the address. So I'm using a ballpoint for that. And for the types of paper, which are very, very thick and very, very smooth, or they have a plasticky feeling, I wanna write down uh, the warranty of fountain pens with my ballpoints. I'm a huge, huge nerd in regards of um, NASA, airspace, cosmic things and everything. So I had this Tornado Apollo and I do have the continuation of this collection. I believe the Mercury and another one, all three of them, I have them are behind me right there uh, displayed. Uh, and this is what I use because I love Apollo missions. So Apollo is the mission which took uh, NASA to moon. And I said, Maybe one day I want to uh, see if I find a uh, Apollo fountain pen to try it out. So finally that day has arrived because I managed to find one for sale on the virtual pen show, if I'm not mistaken, on Instagram. So I contacted this person and I managed to get it at a very, very good price, if I say so. It is a limited edition, although the limited edition is a little bit broader than what we usually are uh, accustomed to in regards of very high-end fountain pens. So we have a limited edition of 1,151 fountain pens. On this fountain pen, there is a medium nib, which is made by Yovo Steel ABS Plastic Feed. I can always, always replace this with a Leonardo nib because I believe they are the same. 
uh, and I was expecting a little bit more beefy uh, construction and weight for this fountain pen um, because the ballpoint is very solid and the Retro 51, the Tornado ones are very, very uh, nicely balanced and the weight gives out a very quality uh, feeling. And the fountain pen is rather light compared to the ballpoint. Uh, it is not something that I will define as being um, I'm not going to love this fountain pen because it doesn't have that weight. But anyway, I would prefer to have it a little bit more uh, weight. It is a very comfortable fountain pen, very practical. I don't see any dings, scratches or nothing whatsoever. And I think that the previous owner took good care of it. I managed to ink it up and to write with it. And um, I'm gonna leave all of this, uh, let's say pointers to be pointed out in the video review if you want to see a video review of this retro 51 apollo fountain pen i would go as far as doing one but let me know if you want to see it the nib is beautiful it has a hint of a feedback maybe a little bit more than i'm usually accustomed to but i can always make it more wet and more smooth and i can uh, just balance it to be somewhat closer to a leonardo which is something that i really like to write with. Anyway, the fountain pen, it's uh, going to reside in my personal fountain pen collection. I'm gonna update the list down below if you want to check it out and see yourself, uh, my personal fountain pen collection, my entire fountain pen collection in all fountain pens, all nib sizes and everything. You can check it out. You will find it in the description of every of this personal collection update videos. And um, let me know if you want to have video review for this fountain pen let me know your suggestions your opinions i love to do content like this because it gets me more personal and more connected with my audience you out there and also i have a ton of fun doing these videos because i can be more personal i don't need to remember all of those scientific or uh, very key elements of uh, proportions numbers uh, aspect uh, and uh, highlight everything that's very very important and i love to talk about font and pen so what a better way to do content like this for everyone let me know if you own one of these fountain pens let me know if you went as forward as purchasing my momento zero grande uh, storm this beauty right here and let me know your opinion about this writing instruments and uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comment section down below i will be quick to answer those if you're still on this video i want to be very grateful and thankful for your support because i couldn't be here without your help if you scroll down you can check also the links for our website if you're looking for an next writing instrument social media accounts email phone number anything and everything that you may need in order to get in contact with us and uh, if you want to support the growth of the pan venture youtube channel and if you want to help me out to reach to many more just like you don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it this will help me out with the youtube algorithm and everything if you want to support us and you're not subscribed you can subscribe right now just click there Turn the notification bell on and you will be notified whenever we have new content. And speaking about content, you have this video right here. If you want to enjoy watching further, click and uh, watch it. Like always, it's me, your host, Amy, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, stay safe, have a great day. Bye-bye.